are listening to the war report. It's one game. It's one I game. do have one more thing to say. No. And I know this is going to get a lot of backlash in the comment section after this is over with, but I'm going to say it anyway. There are two factions of fans right now with Auburn. There's the overreacting faction of fan that um, is just everything is doom and gloom. And even if you're justified in how feeling, that's fine. I don't have a problem with you at all. So this is not directed at you just because you feel as if this is a bad football team because you have every right to feel that way. There is the more realistic fan who's like, hey, it's not perfect, but hey, hope for the future, blah, 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 blah. Um, I said two. There's a third faction that I want to talk to real quick. And that is those of you who seem to think that somehow your disappointment with the product on the field entitles you to go and be belligerent to these athletes. Mm. Mm. Somehow you think I spent my time coming and supporting you and you let me down. Don't you think those kids feel bad? You think that they feel happy that they lost the game in that way? On that, They were the ones out there on the field getting actually embarrassed, and you're embarrassed because you supported them? That's not the right way to do this, man. That's not the right way to do this at all. And I get it. I'm not blaming fans for anything. If you, t- if you hear me say this and you hear me saying I'm blaming fans for something, what I'm blaming you for is not understanding how to separate your emotions from your actions. I'm just as upset as anybody else. I get on here and I criticize and talk about people for things that I feel like they should do better. What I'm not going to do is go on social media adding these guys and saying stupid stuff. What I'm not going to do is pretend as if I didn't say this stuff if I met them in real life. Right. What I'm not going to do is try to pretend as if my emotions somehow entitles me to a place to get on social media or anywhere and act a donkey with these, those young men don't feel good about this already. Settle down a little bit, man. Yeah. Calm down. It's some of it's a little too much. Some of it's a little, it's a little much for you to criticize a young man who's worked his entire life thus far to get a D one scholarship to a power five school. And you tell him he's not good enough to play for your team because they didn't play well enough on one Saturday. Settle down. It's too much. It's too much. Yeah, I would say most of us will never know how it feels to have our mistakes blasted all over national television right? every Sunday morning or be memed across the Internet, uh, you know, for your bad days. So, uh, you know, I would appeal to people to just remember, like, you know, they're not above criticism because that's what comes with the limelight. Right. But the words that you choose are completely on you and there are a lot of people with no communication skills out here trying to communicate correct and, that, and that, yeah. that, that's the and difference it comes, it's like i'm, I'm not saying don't criticize yeah right. they, they play they play a game where criticism is fair yeah. right it's right. just sometimes like i think we, we we cross the line a little little too much sometimes right a little there, too much there was a comment earlier a super chat that we had that said hey like you know it's, I don't think TJ is the right fit for the conditions that we have. I might have gotten that wrong or mm-hmm. like something. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think that is probably one of the more sensible statements I've seen on TJ Finley. Correct. Right. Yeah. Is is that um, yes, man, all these kids, and you can't I talk to the, the the parents all a lot, and what a lot of folks don't get is that you can't get to this level without talent. They all have talent, all these right. kids have talent. Right. And they can play uh, the, the game, you know, what, which ones put it together, and which ones don't. That's largely dependent on them and the situation that they're in. If we never hire Al Borges, it's arguable Jason Campbell never has his season that gets him into the first round. He played himself into the first round of the draft in one year. Yeah. Like, you know, people just don't understand. Like, nobody was looking at this team. They thought we were going to lose Ronnie and Cadillac in the offseason. And they found a way to hold it together in 03 so that they could get to 04. Well, I, I listen, I just this is this is my own, my last Im- implore to, to the to show up Saturday for these kids, man. Please, yeah. please be there and support them. Like, I get it. it. It felt bad watching that. But they need your support now more than they did last right. weekend, right. because there's a lot of them that are probably feeling super low about how they perform and they want to perform better 
not just for you, but for themselves. They right. want an NFL career after this. They want to do something that extends beyond this last Saturday, and they want to erase the memory of that. Show up for them. Yeah, Be yeah. there and support that team wholeheartedly. Scream and watch them play. And if they lose, they lose.